Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, coming to you from my third location in as many videos. Uh, today we're going to cover the retry cue versus the heartbeat trigger. There's a blog written by Brock out there that's worth a read if you want to go into a deep dive, but we'll just kind of give a, a quick breakdown. And I guess the first thing that comes to mind is which one is better? The short answer is heartbeat. If you have inventory, heartbeat is going to be more efficient and take less resources. If you don't have inventory or you want to be really aggressive with like a brute force manner, retry cue is the way to go. Uh, so first we'll take a look at the retry queue. There's three spots you can set this and each one can override the other uh, depending on how you want to set it up. First place is you, if you come to preferences, go to deployments. There's a box down here to put targets in retry queue and this is where you can set the interval and how long uh, you want the, how, how many times you're going to allow it. So if this one, if it fails to send to 15 machines, it's going to try to send that every hour to 15 machines until it's successful. While that is very effective, it's probably a bit more chatty than you're looking for. Your network people might get mad at you, but it is is effective. Uh, if you have like a global setting, this is when you want, but you have a schedule. This is a very important schedule. You need to be more aggressive. You can just come into schedule and it's the same thing, just the offline settings. And right here you can do the settings for packages and you can set the retry queue. And this is where you can change it to, this one's less important. So we're going to allow an only, only 12 retries and the interval you can't change you have to do that globally but how many times you're going to retry you absolutely can and the last place is on the package itself if you open up the windows you come up to the properties offline settings and it's the exact same thing as the schedule you can come in here this one's super important we want to make sure we get it we're going to give it 124 times so five days and four hours apparently there we go make it even five days and that way you know that one's going to keep on retrying until it's it's done. So you can set it package level, schedule level, or or global level. Uh, so next we're going to look at the heartbeat. And this is why, oh, we'll go into why I like this one so much better. If you have PDQ inventory, we'll come into the preferences and go to the network tab. Right here, this is just where you turn it on, check to have it enabled. This is how often, every five minutes. Uh, you can change the space in your environment, how how busy it is, how many machines, you can set it more or less. And basically what it's going to do is every five minutes it's going to go out and check every machine and say, hey, is this online? And if it is, it's going to switch a status in inventory from offline to online. So the way the heartbeat trigger works, instead of just trying it over and over again, if a machine is set it to offline and it failed, it's going to wait till it comes online. Once it's back online, it's going to recognize that it's available and it's going to send it out. So instead of just sending it over and over, it's going to sit there and it's going to wait patiently. And then once the time is available, it's going to send it out. It's, uh, I think it's more effective, it's less chatty, but it does require the inventory and deploy, which, I mean, let's be honest, you should have both anyway, they're fantastic. And the way you set that up is uh, just on the schedule, you can come in here to the triggers and there is a heartbeat trigger you can set. <clears throat> and if you want to, this within the schedule, you can set a little bit more items, like you can set windows where the heartbeat will and won't work, so you don't send out of windows you don't want to. You can also set an ending time, so after a while it will still stop. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, if you want to have a hard stop on that one. And that's pretty much it. Both of them are effective. Both of them will get your stuff deployed where they need to go. One of them is going to be a lot, lot louder, a lot more aggressive, but it'll work. The other one's just going to bite its time and it's going to send it when it's ready to go. Now for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.